So one of the questions that we hear is where do you keep all of your homeschool stuff? Because any homeschooler knows that there is a lot of stuff <laughs> involved with homeschooling. Um, and just looking around, you'd be like, does this, is there like, school that goes on here. So I'm going to show you where we keep all of our homeschool stuff. It starts with the header above the dash. Um, we have a lot of books here. Um, even behind our national park book. Um, we have a lot of uh, additional books, biographies and such. We like to keep our field guides up here so they're quick and easy to grab. Books that we might be currently reading are Kim books. We have encyclopedias here um, and other read aloud storybooks, stuff that we're just getting to um, quite often um, we're gonna have up here. Um, also homeschool stuff because the whole trip is a learning experience, right? Um, so we've got our binoculars and a magnifying glass that are here. They're quick, the kids are like, oh, I see a bird that can quick grab the binoculars and we can try to identify it. So the majority of our daily school books, like the stuff that the kids are working in every single day are stored here underneath, um, underneath this seat. So this is one of the original bus seats um, and it hinges up and we've got a laundry basket and a book bag down here that store all of it. Each of the kids' stuff is, um, they each have their own book bag that has their school books. And then inside this book bag, um, then this will slide down into the laundry basket. Um, now you'll be like, okay, this is her date. This is Kaylin's daily work. Like that is not a whole lot of, of books that she's got going on here. It's got her history. She's got her science in here. She's got a pencil pouch with some of her supplies. Um, but the kids each also have a lot of online school that they're doing, um, on their iPads. And so that really helps us save a lot of space. Um, Caitlin's math is on her iPad. Um, part of her history is on her iPad. Her Bible and her language arts and her spelling and all of that is all on the iPad. So we did that specifically this year because we knew we were going to be doing a lot of traveling and we wanted to save on space. We also have a lot of additional school books in here now. Um, these are not school books that we are going reaching for all the time. Um, here we've got um, just some additional books that Spirits is doing, There's books that they're going to need um, just seasonally, um, or books that they're just going to need temporarily. We've got our President's book. This would be up on the header, but it didn't fit. <laughs> Um, so books that we're going to need from time to time as we are, as we're learning about our states, as we travel, um, we've got our games in here. Um, Barrett also keeps the learning wrap ups in here. If you have not seen these, these were amazing for my son who really struggles with math way better than flashcards, learning wrap ups. Ask me more if you want to know. Um, games, all that stuff, atlases in here. And then over here in this one, we have, along with some other miscellaneous things, we've got more art supplies um, and some backpacks for exploring stuff like that. Um, as well as having, you know, reading books there, um, there's also some additional chapter books for the kids to um, pick up and read as they're um, pertaining to the different time periods that they're doing in history. Um, and then they also have bookshelf space individually on their beds also. Um, those are more fun books that they have, but occasionally a school book that they're reading for school will end up on their beds also. We also, like I said, we do a lot of their school um, on the internet. Um, part of one of the um, curriculums that we're using is Monarch this year, um, eight by um, Alpha Omega. And um, so we're doing, we've got the their iPads and or even a lot of their their um, textbooks from Masterbooks. And um, we got the digital copy, so that way they can have it all on their iPad takes up way less space um, than if we each have, you know, they each have like, this huge backpack full of books. Um, so those are kept here in this basket on top of the freezer because this is where our electrical outlet is. So it's a great charging station. Um, and that's, we, we store, school supplies. 
Um, as far as where school happens, um, school takes place everywhere. Um, it takes place at the dining room table. It takes place on the couch. It takes place on their beds. It takes place on the roof. It takes place at the picnic table outside. Um, it takes place sometimes even under the bus. That is what our homeschool storage looks like as we travel on the bus. We're not full time, but we are just doing this for several weeks at this point, um, just a couple weeks at a time. And But we're definitely taking our schoolwork with us. So if you have any other questions, please let us know what kind of questions can we answer um, about what we are doing in the bus where we keep things whatever um, and if you like this video please like and subscribe below and we'll see you next time